Country 92.9, number one for new country with Brian Martin and we ride. It's uh, 929, coming up on 930. It's at this point on Wednesdays. For over a decade now, we've presented Ask the Lawyer with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Largely answering questions submitted by you. And so maybe today's the day you're going to hear your question on the radio. We're about to find out. I'll also tell you how to submit a question for future consideration here in just a moment. But first, I need your help in welcoming Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Todd. How are you doing this morning? Excellent. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Good, good. Glad to hear. Everybody doing well in the office and, and back at home, of course? Everybody's doing very well. I haven't heard about the grandbabies in a long time. How are they doing? <laughs> They're just excellent. <laughs> Says the proud grandfather. All right. Well, we've got um, a question that needs some addressing here, and I know you're the right guy for the job. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Here's what it says today says, my nephew and one of his friends were crossing the street in the Cross Rock with the light in his favor when he was struck by a vehicle headed in the same direction, making a right-hand turn. The, drive, the driver struck my nephew, sending him to the hospital with a broken leg and other injuries requiring surgery. The driver's insurance claims he had the green light and was not at fault. My brother has five children, and his wife is disabled, so they can't afford the hospital bills, not to mention the physical therapy his son will need. My brother doesn't know what to do and is afraid to call a lawyer because he doesn't have the money to pay legal fees. Can you ask that lawyer what my brother should do? I love that last question in there because I think (laughs) even I know the answer about the legal fees, Bruce. Yeah, that's um, a great question, and... The simple answer to the question is call an experienced personal injury lawyer as soon as you practically can. Uh And to satisfy that person's concerns about not having money to pay a lawyer, the good thing about personal injury lawyers in general is that they work on a contingency basis. Mm -hmm. which means that you never, ever have to take a penny out of your pocket to pay the lawyer unless he makes a recovery for you. All right, so that's one less worry for this family. That's good. That's a good place to start. What do you make of the fact pattern here? Well, the fact pattern, you know, again, it's the reason you need to call a lawyer because the insurance company's motto is that we never pay. Right. The insurance company has, happens to be 100% wrong in this case because they were crossing the street in the crosswalk, and by doing that, they had the right-of-way, even though the car had a green light. Uh-huh. The car had to make a right-hand turn And when he made that right-hand turn, he had the duty to yield the right-of-way to pedestrians in the crosswalk. That's probably worth repeating for everybody to understand, because I think very often we think, we've got a green light, it means we can go. If there's somebody in the crosswalk and you have a green light, you have to stop. And that's a very dangerous situation, because a lot of times, you know, the exact same thing happens. You're going down the street, you want to make a right-hand turn. You have a green light, and someone's crossing the street in the crosswalk. Right. You have to remember the person, the pedestrian in the crosswalk, has the right of way, and you have to yield to that person. You have to let them finish transiting the crosswalk Mm -hmm. before you complete your right-hand turn. Sure, sure. Sounds like there's a lot of injury here, and it does sound like there's going to be quite a bit of recovery necessary, too. Right, and the good thing is it seems to be a company car, so they should be able to recover all their medical bills in the past, their future medical bills, their pain and suffering, loss of wages, and, uh, you know, all the other intangible damages. The key to that, this whole story is immediately, as soon as possible, call an experienced personal injury lawyer and don't worry about having to pay them 
until the case is over. Right. And also remember the insurance company is going to make this, um, let's just say, challenging. You don't want to go up against them on your own. So excellent advice, Bruce. Thank you so much. It does sound like there are better times coming for this family that's already got so much trouble. We appreciate it. That's well, my pleasure and looking forward to a, another challenging question next Wednesday. I'm sure we'll have one. Take care now. In the meantime, say hi to everybody for us. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you, Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. And uh, a great answer this week to uh, really kind of a difficult question. You hate to hear so much problem and just trying to get the insurance company to, to do what's right. But it happens. And that's why if you have a question you'd like to submit, we'd love to have you do so. But if you're having this kind of difficulty, you probably should reach directly out to the Office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner in Port Charlotte. I'll give you that phone number in just a second. If you'd like to submit a question for future consideration, you can do that on our website. Just go there and put the keyword Bruce in the search box. That'll take you where you need to go. To call the Port Charlotte Office of Associates and Bruce L. Shiner, call 941-743-7777. That's 941-743-7777. Tell them that Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9.